with Ash. It's me again today. I've got my apron up on the wall again. It's staying there. You already know that. So, you know, there it is. Today we're going to be cooking a carbonara. That's right. It's a very easy dish. It's something you guys can cook at home and everyone is going to enjoy it. It is delectable. It's creamy. It's fresh. And it's fragrant. And it's one of the most simplest dishes that you can cook for a family. Okay, so this recipe is basically for a family of four, but obviously you can scale it up, you can scale it down, and you know, you, it, it's not exactly overly expensive, but it's all fresh ingredients, and you know, it's just, it's really good. Okay, this ain't the best angle, but um, it will do. So basically, you start off with some tagliatelle, okay, some creme fraiche. We got some bacon lardons. Sorry, it's upside down. We got some smoked bacon lardons. We have some basically parmesan. This is parmesan, basically. It's parmesan oregano. We've got two cloves of garlic. We've got some frozen peas. We have some salt. And we have some pepper. There it is, pepper. And we also have some optional garlic flatbread with rosemary. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that you will need for my carbonara. Fresh tagliatelle, 600 grams. Bacon lardons, 800 grams. The parmesan stuff, 100 grams. Four egg yolks. I didn't mention that. Egg yolks. Egg yolks. We need egg yolks. Some fresh salt and pepper to taste and two garlicky cloves. Okay, so I've got my pan. I've put some oil in there, as you can see. I'm just using regular vegetable oil. You can use olive oil, rapeseed oil, sunflower oil, any type of cooking oil that you want. As you can see, I've turned the heat on. That is just sizzled a wee bit. And uh, once that gets hot enough, I'll be adding my garlic to it. Garlic. Now, add your bacon lardons. In they go. Oh yeah. Give that a quick toss in the oil, get it coated. Let it fry. Got my trusty wooden spoon. You wanna cook this off so the bacon lard ones get like a really nice browny golden -y, brown crispy texture okay so high heat don't let them burn keep them moving you want them to go crispy To a point now where we can add some peas. That's what I'm going to do. Now, whilst those are cooking, I'm going to get and show you how to make the sauce for this carbonara. So I'm going to bring you around again. Okay, so I've got a bowl here. Now this is the part where you want to get another container, any old thing will do. You want to put your egg whites in that container and the egg yolks in this bowl. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yep. 
guest, use your hands, it's fine. Let the white slip through your fingers. So make sure there's a little gap. And then squeeze them together. And anything that's stringy will fall off. Of course, place your egg yolk in there. Now, I said we need four of these. It's basically an egg yolk per person. Two, three, and four. Once you've got your egg yolks in your bowl, you need some creme fraiche, 300 milliliters. This is a 600 milliliter tub. So about half, <laughs> it's really thick. So I'm gonna need to get a spoon. 300 mils, okay, so I'm gonna eyeball it. Hundred mils, about half. Get your parmesan or hard cheese. Now this is a hundred gram packet. Where are you? This is a hundred gram packet. You're gonna use about half of this, so 50 grams. Okay. Get in there. It's about half a packet right there. Black pepper. Now this is the most important part. You want a lot. Of black pepper. You all know me, I like black pepper. But carbonara is basically a black pepper dish. Do not be shy. And then of course, whisk all this together. Beautiful, look at it, look at it. Now, what you're looking for, and I hope you can see this in my camera, um, is that black pepper, this, this is my idea of how you know you've got enough, is you wanna see a beautiful speckling of that black pepper running through the whole of the sauce that we've made here, okay? So I'd say this was perfectly seasoned. Okay, so now that you've made this, you've got your bacon and peas cooking over there, get your oven on, boil some water, because we're gonna now cook the pasta. It's time to call Linda. Okay, so after three, let's call Linda. Linda! Oh look, there she is. Linda, call Linda. Get it? Ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha, funny ha ha. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Okay, so, got some water on to boil. Slightly season it, not too much. My optional garlic flatbread is gonna go in the oven. Okay, so this water is basically boiling. This fresh tagliatelle takes three minutes to cook. It's basically ready. So I'm gonna linda this in my core linda. Get this back on the hot heat. Then what you wanna do guys, you just want to get your lindered pasta, chuck that in, and then the sauce straight on top. And get that stirred in. Okay, it's okay to take off the heat as well, which I'm gonna do. We'll turn the heat off because it's hot enough. The pasta and the bacon and everything else is hot enough to cook that sauce, cook those eggs. Get nice, evenly distributed, the bacon and the peas and the pasta. And guess what, guys? That is it, okay? That is, that, that is, that is it. That is the carbonara right there, done and dusted. What you wanna do now, Serve it. So there we go. Get some tongs. Pile some of that bad boy on there. Okay. There it is. Quick, easy, tasty carbonara. And of course, your leftover pan, little granite, banana, parmesan, whatever you want to use over the top. But there you go. That is my simple, easy, 
carbonara, a la ash, of course. And uh, now I'm going to dish up the rest of the dinner and we're going to eat. Obviously, my garlic bread is still in the oven. Garlic bread. Mm, yeah. So there you have it, guys. I'm going to quickly dish up the rest of this for my guests and my wife. And we're going to eat and we're going to enjoy it. It's going to be really good. So, make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because there is always going to be more to come with Cooking with Ash and Daz. So until next time, I'll see you next Tuesday.